5.50 in the morning and we are at Walmart and it just started pissing down the rain. I'm so happy and excited for that, especially because all I have under my hoodie is a fucking bra. So I'm just gonna have to suck it up and wear it. I would have been here at 3 a.m. Uh, but there's no 24 hour Walmart anymore. Bring back fucking 24 hour Walmart. 2024. Oh my god. My agoraphobia needs it. I don't know the last time that I've I've been to Walmart. I don't know the last time that I've actually been here. I do pick up all the time. I don't know the actual last time that I set foot in a fucking Walmart. I have no idea. But the reason that I'm here is because I want to get some hair dye and also because I'm fucking starving. Um Epps got us those protein sheets. He got us those protein sheets. Got us those protein. Can I just get those words out? Sorry, that lady was walking in front of me and it like her being all blurry from the fucking rain. I was like, oh my God. Anyways, he got us those protein shakes um, before he went to work. And he predominantly works from home, but sometimes he does have to like go places. And he had to leave at two yesterday. And, um,. I finished it before he left. And I think he left at like 1.50. And I fell asleep last night at seven. I slept from seven something to three something in the morning. And I didn't eat anything between then and then. And like, I just, I don't know. Like I, am I about to get obsessed with something? Because I think it's gonna help with me overeating and my BED, yeah, probably. I've been online all morning looking up like pro like lazy protein coffee recipes because like there's all these ones that are like use your I'm not using my fucking blender I'm not using my fucking ninja or my Nutra bullet or whatever the fuck it is that Epps uses to make protein shakes I'm not doing that because you know what I was I was hungry at three o'clock in the morning and I'm not my mom I'm not gonna fucking fire up some loud obnoxious thing that sounds like you're fucking grinding nails at three o'clock in the morning when my kids are trying to sleep so I was looking up like lazy coffee protein coffee recipes and it was like basically just put put protein or put a protein shake in your coffee I can do that but like I want to try it because um I want to try it because how much better I felt having had like a proper protein shake and my overeating and my BED are like out of fucking control now and I know that a lot of it has to do with the fact that like I started birth control and birth control does fucking infamously make people gain weight. Like, it's pretty fucking well known. It's what stopped me from, from starting it for a really long time. But uh, I, I want to try to make protein coffee. I want to see if it helps me. I want to see if it helps keep me full. I want to see if it helps keep me awake. But just so we're fucking clear right now, just so we're clear, I have to sneeze. But that's not what we need to be clear about. I'm not going to try this protein coffee shit so that I don't eat. This is not purposely to make it so that I don't eat. And this is not purposely for calorie restriction. Though both those things, if done healthy and within balance, are a very valid reason to do it. It's a very valid reason to do it. For me though, it is to help keep my belly full and my brain happy so that maybe it won't be hunting and scraping and pecking for something to shuffle into my mouth. So yeah, and I want to get some hair dye and stuff like that. So we're here. Also pray for my Walmart credit card. Pray for my fucking Walmart credit card and for me. That's one of the two reasons I don't like to come to Walmart. One, the people. Two, I end up spending four times more than I fucking thought that I was going to. Like I will go in there and be like, oh, I just need to get some toilet paper and I'm leaving with fucking half the makeup aisle. I 
I hope I don't get a copyright for the SpongeBob playing in the background. Honestly, I really hope that I don't. It is 6.55, 6.54. So I got there, did my shopping, and made it home in less than an hour. I started strong and finished okay-ish. I wouldn't say strong. I did end up getting some stuff that I didn't initially go in there for, but like, that's why I fucking don't go to Walmart. I'm gonna wash this cup that I bought while I was there and try to make some of this stuff. I wanna show you some of the stuff that I got. I, I got like D some protein cookies and stuff like that, but I wanna show you this really fucking cute thing that I got while I was there. And I, can, I, I kind of probably am an asshole cause I bought all of them, but they were only 50 cents. I bought like five of these because they were 50 cents. Can you see them? Like the, the pattern, it's got little bats and little skulls. I bought all they had. They were 50 cents. Hello. They didn't have any like cute Halloween like tumblers. So I got this one. I just washed it and the straw's hot. I'm hoping the, the straw being hot isn't going to make my cold brew taste gross. But let's try to make this damn lazy ass protein coffee. I also bought these, which like were not a requirement, but I wanted them. Uh, it's, I got classic caramel or caramel and French vanilla. I came this fucking close to grabbing the hazelnut and then I remembered, hey stupid, you suddenly and unexpectedly are fucking allergic to peanuts and every nut. I can't ever have Nutella again in my life. Don't fucking bring it up. I purposely got this so big so that I could put coffee on top of the protein shake. I just got some Premier Vanilla, the 30 milligram, or the 30, 30 milligram, 30 gram ones. I purposely did it so that I could have like a full serving of this and a full serving of the, uh, of the cold brew on top of it. I just stuck my fucking finger right in that. It's a good thing I just washed this fucking cup so I washed my hand with it because that would have been disgusting. I was just in fucking Walmart touching everything. I think of everything. I swear to God I do. I figure vanilla is kind of like a good flavor to start with because it's kind of like a flavor that you can add like anything to and um, it'll taste like whatever you put in it. And I also like vanilla and I just, I'm not wildly don't have much of a sweet tooth right now and i bought this cold this cold brew because it was cheap it was like five dollars and the fucking like uh starbucks one was like 10. screw that maybe i should shake this am i supposed to shake this i don't know but i'm going to oh god I also started off like strong with vlogging in there and then I was like walking down the hair dye aisle and I thought I heard my baby dad and I like couldn't see who was talking so I was doing the like thing. It wasn't him but I like made direct eye contact with that guy after that and it was so fucking awkward it just like knocked my want and need to do anything out of me. I was like oh bitch. You look dumb as hell. Let's see how this tastes. And if I don't like it, we'll put some flavoring in it. My straw is like, well, it's not as hot as it was. It was hot because I just washed it. And I was like, that's going to be kind of, it's going to taste a little goofy. Tastes like a coffee with creamer in it. That's actually really fucking good. am I surprised by that? It's literally a vanilla shake with cold brew in it. It tastes like, honestly, it tastes like, it tastes like ice cream. It tastes like vanilla ice cream. Why can't I taste the cold brew really at all? I kind of want to put some of this in it, but I feel like that might be a little too much, but I still, I love doing too much. So let's put the, let's put the caramel in because we already have vanilla. I'm so good to my teeth. Like, that took me so long and there was like no need for it. I'm literally in a fucking kitchen full of knives and scissors 
Like, I just love making things harder on myself. And I love using my fucking teeth to open everything because, you know, that, on top of the fact that I'm constantly chewing on my Labre ring, they're just holding on for dear life. That And, and the fact that I have fucking Appalachian mouth on top of all of that. I don't know how much of this to use, but I'm terrified of using too much because the guy that, uh, the guy that was making my sugar-free coffee at Tim Hortons was putting entirely too much of like the sugar-free stuff into it. And it was causing it to cause me physical pain when I would drink it. So let's just put a little bit, so tiny a little bit. Is it even fucking open? Oh my God, there's still plastic on it. You don't want me to be able to use it. There's literally a fucking thing right here. They don't want me to be able to use this. They want me to lose my mind. But anyway, oh my God, that smells so good. Anyways, the guy that was making my coffee at Tim Hortons would all the time put way too much shit in it. And, um, I don't want to put too much. Okay, that's enough. And it would, like, cause me physical pain to drink it. Like, it would hurt the inside. It would make my mouth go numb. And one time, Epp said something to him. He's like, this is, like, I, I never complained. And I had him say something because, like, you can't do that to people. Like, you know what I mean? And the guy was like, that's just how sugar-free stuff tastes. And he just had, like, Epps just had to, like, walk away. Let's see. I'm happy. Yeah, I'm happy. I'm sure if I like blended ice in with it, it would be better, but no, I'm not gonna do that right now because the kids still, it's only 7.06 and they don't get up for school until 7.30. Maybe in a little bit when Epps is up, I'll have him help me with it, but like not right now, like not right now. I was trying to figure out what my Tumblr reminded me of. You know what? It reminds me of, I figured it out. It reminds me of the skull. Uh, the skull disco ball from the Scooby-Doo movie. The live action one with Matthew Lillard. That is one of the greatest fucking movies of all time. The live action Scooby-Doo. I'm not fucking joking you. When I was a kid, I would watch it and just fucking howl laughing and as an adult it's even funnier because i understand all the humor in it i actually think i'm going to try to find it somewhere to stream it and if they don't have it to stream i will get it on i will buy it on prime like it's one of my favorite movies ever it's so sweet and funny and goofy and endearing and comforting but doesn't this look like the fucking crystal skull from the scooby-doo movie <laughs> I think I'm gonna lay down and take a nap, but before I do, cause like I wanna dye my hair today and stuff, but I'm really fucking tired and like no amount of caffeine is like waking me up. But before I lay down, I wanted to show you some stuff that Epps got me. I actually sent him out for one of these and he just went to uh, Big Lots and found this. Because I wanted to be able to sit down and, like, dye my hair on camera. And, um, I wanted to be able to use this to do it so that I could actually talk to the camera and, like, be able to see what I'm doing. But he picked me up these little bat hair clips. And these little hair clips, too. They're so fucking cute. He got them at Big Lots for 99 cents. When I was a teenager, I had one of these that was like big and bulky and like had the lights on the sides and they still make them. Um, I took that bitch for granted. I took that bitch for granted, absolutely. This is the bottom. Uh, now I wish I still, I feel like I've had like a million of them in my life and they're one of those things that just like disappears and you don't know where the hell they went. 
knowing me, I probably like lost them when I was moving or threw them away or gave them away or donated them, but I took them for granted. I do know that much. Why do you not want to come out? Like for once in my fucking life, I'm being an adult and opening my shit like an adult and it's just like not wanting to come out. Okay. Usually what I would do is just rip the damn box open and just hurt myself. Probably end up using my teeth. He remembered to get batteries, which like if I would have went and picked this up myself, I would not have remembered to get batteries. So let's put this together. I wanted to get one of these so that I could dye my hair on camera and also for whenever I do makeup on camera because I got my computer desk all like cleaned off and set up all pretty and shit and I want to sit at it oh come on ah! Ah! <laughs> are you kidding me okay and I wanted to be able to sit at it and like film myself doing my makeup or doing my hair and stuff like that or putting on my wigs and um, but I didn't I have a mirror and it's really pretty but I can't find it and I feel like it potentially got packed up and moved to the basement but it also really was not that big like it's like this big and this one's nice and big and not only that it has a it has a light around it so I don't have to worry about any of my ring lights or the shitty lighting whenever I do my makeup. I feel like at this point, if you see me doing my makeup in proper lighting, you should probably be worried for my mental health. All right. Woo! Eee! I'm wondering, hold on a second. Okay, so the space underneath of it, like right here, isn't big enough for me to sit the camera in. But do you see that button? You can't hardly see it. That's the button for the lights. Pretty cool. Alright, I'm going to take a nap. And then when I wake up, I'm going to dye my hair. I also bought something else for us to try out today. For me to be a guinea pig on. Happily be a guinea pig on. Do you guys want to hear about what an adult I am? This mirror works so good. This mirror works so good. Hold on. It works so good. Like, the camera's just... I don't know if it's, like, how far down I'm sitting or what. I don't know. But, guys, when you hear about what a fucking adult I am, I took a one-hour and 30-minute nap. I laid down at 11, immediately fell asleep. Like, I had to export some videos and stuff from my camera. And I wanted to do that before I fell asleep. Um... By the way, don't brush don't brush your scalp. Don't rake your scalp before you uh, dye your hair. It's opening you up to chemical burns. Don't do that, okay? But anyways, I laid down at 11 and I set my alarm for 12.30. And guess what? I got up. I got up at 12.30. I went for a walk, but I forgot um, both my camera and my vlogging phone. So I just took a little, like a couple little few second clips with my like phone phone and um i had a salad like eps got me a giant fucking salad and um yeah i need to drink some water and we are gonna dye my hair using the cheapest fucking hair dye they had at walmart yeah this is gonna be so fine i was gonna do it in the bathroom but i just don't like my head hurts and the lighting in the bathroom is like so fucking harsh. Well, I guess this is my sign to get up and get a water because I gotta grab a pair of scissors to cut this open. It's this this shit is like 
The price of this has not changed since I was in high school. And I would say I will take this being $3 in exchange for them not having the little screwy top thing. You get a pass. I, for some reason, thought that maybe I might be able to use this pair of scissors that October customized. It's not gonna work. It, it killed my fucking hand to even try. <laughs> we are crisscross applesauce on the couch right now. I just had to sit back and like pull my table forward because my back is fucking killing me. My back is fucking killing me. And it is absolutely because I need to start my period. Yeah, I, if I am feeling okay, I might get on my elliptical in a little bit. I really want a walking pad. Like, we kind of have one in a way. But it's like, it's like a self-propelled treadmill with a bar on the top of it. But it's super hard to walk on. And... I, when you walk on it, it's like hard to walk and I read somewhere that that probably means that you weigh too much and I'm like, okay, but it does it when D walks on it and D is tiny. So I think it's just that I bought it at a thrift store and it's, it, it isn't that great. Um, I have one of those. I really want one of those fucking like walking pads that I keep seeing all over TikTok. I'm, I'm a fucking, I am a capitalist wet dream. Bitch, you show me anything and I'm like, oh my god, I need that. Hooker, I need it. I need it. I need it. I will think of any fucking reason on the face of this earth that I need it. I want a walking pad. In here, I think, oh my god, I'll, I'll live on it. I will live on it. I will watch every fucking season of Game of Thrones and I know I would probably use it like three times and never touch it again. But I want one. I want one. Like, bad. I literally am like an advertiser's wet dream. I am. It's, it's kind of sad. It's kind of sad. <laughs> I hate these bottles because you really can't tell, you know, you really can't tell what you're doing. We can't bitch. It was $3. It was $3 and it is box dye. Like it's fucking box dye. Okay. This is mental breakdown dye. This is fucking mental breakdown dye, but we're all right. Okay. That's not why we're doing this. We're doing this because the grays are graying and I got some other stuff I want to try with you guys. We're gonna guinea pig with me. I feel like I've done an, an awful lot of shaking things in this vlog. <laughs> like, what the hell? All right, let's get this on here. I don't, I remember whenever I went to beauty school and they were like, you've gotta learn how to do, uh, you've gotta learn how to do hair dye with like a brush. You're not going to be using, you're not going to be using a bottle applicator. You're not going to be using box dye. You've got to learn to measure and mix and do all this shit. And I was like, I will never be able to do that. I will never be able to, to put hair dye on with a brush. And it, I will say, it took me years to relearn how to put dye on without a brush. I just slop the shit on, honestly, now, because I used to, like, dye my hair all kinds of fun colors and stuff, and I've been tempted to, like, put a little, like, pink or something in my hair, but the thing is, the hair that I have is barely herring. She, bitch, she's barely there, and I don't want to fry her off. I mean, we need to, we need to fucking death grip what we have. We need to hold what we have very tight very near very dear and not only that i just don't need another thing in my life that is gonna cost me a lot of money you know what i mean like i used to go into sally's and i would not leave without spending at least like 70 or 80 dollars on hair dye just like on bleach and um dyes and the activators and mask and all kinds of shit I can't do that now, you know, I can't, in this economy, 
maybe in the economy five to seven years ago, but not, I just, I can't afford to do that type of stuff. You know what I can do? You know what I can't afford to do? Buy a $50 wig once every couple of months <laughs> to change the color of my hair. Wow, bitch, you're getting this shit everywhere. And it's just not going to leave. It's just going to be there. Because guess what? I'm probably not going to move. It's probably not going to come off. I probably should have turned up. Can I touch this without getting dye all over it? I don't want to ruin my brand new mirror. Ooh! Yeah, can you see it? Oh, she's on there. Oh, she's on there. It's fine. It's fine. I'm not going anywhere. I'm not doing anything. And even if I was, I don't think the hair dye on me is the first thing that anybody is noticing about my face. <laughs> <laughs> There's probably going to be hair dye all over my camera. <sighs> I definitely got this shit all over the back of my neck, but you know what my you know what my philosophy is? Whatever is happening on the back of my head is none of my goddamn business. All right, we've got our we've got our timer on for forty minutes. I'm gonna drink some water, and I re oh my god, I got hair dye all over my little table in front of me. I got hair dye all over my camera, all over the table. Um. Oh, I don't want it on my white brush. I don't know why I love this white brush. I don't know why. I don't want it on there. Get out of here. Get out of here. And uh, I wanted to show you guys this. It has nothing to do with anything. But Epps and I were sitting down here and I looked over and I saw this. I'm pretty sure it's Mr. E's. I'm pretty sure his dad got it for him. These were huge. When I was a teenager. Skull animals. Oh my god. I had like t-shirts and shit with them on them. And stuffed animals. Oh my god. I guarantee you he got that at Hot Topic. Because his dad takes him to Hot Topic all the time. And buys him little toys. That's so fucking cute. I want one. I don't know if you can see it. But I got it on the mirror. I got it on my little folding table. I'm so good at this, guys. I'm so fucking good at just doing things. Like, holy shit. So, Watcher just uploaded a new Ghost Files. So, I am going to uh, put a little bit of makeup on and watch that while I wait for my hair to dry. Because my hair needs to be dry for what we're going to try. There is so much fucking dye all over my head and the thing is it's all over my scalp too and we're gonna try this <laughs> I saw like I really want some I think it's called topics like the hair fibers I saw a bunch of like reels and stuff saying that this stuff will work to help like cover like thinning hair on your like the part of your hair um it covers it but unlike the hair fibers it doesn't help thicken your hair it just mask where you can see your skin but the thing is i fucking dyed my scalp so i'm sure we'll be able to see a little bit of a difference but not like the full extent of it until i've washed my hair for a few a few times. Bitch, I fucking got dye everywhere. How in the hell? How in the hell? Because <laughs> I just slopped it on. Why am I even asking that? Because I fucking just slopped it on. But I'm going to watch this Watcher episode and let my hair dry a little bit. I'm not going to put any heat on it. It is feeling awfully uh, straw-like. Don't track a face behind me. My face is right here. Please don't do that. Please don't do that. I accidentally left it on for like 50 minutes because I got editing 
and um, this vlog is gonna be super long I thought about like ending it and then just like doing all this shit and adding it in tomorrow's vlog oh well it'll be fine it'll be fine okay so just so we're all clear I have no fucking idea what I'm doing I have no idea what I'm doing this is what I'm using it's the Clairol root touch-up in the shade black it is temporary it only lasts one wash it says do not use near flame or while smoking use only in ventilated areas avoid spraying in eyes use only as directed uh, blah, 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 blah. can I have some directions spray away instantly perfect for fast drying on the go protect clothing shake well hold six inches from dry hair and spray in steady even motion until desired color blend is achieved let dry for 60 seconds before touching hair God, because I dyed the shit out of my scalp I don't know if I can really like towel you know? I don't really know if I can tell how badly I need this but I know that I need it let's just do like right here oh my god how far is six inches? Did I ever tell you guys that I have a learning disability with left and right and distance and math looks like gibberish, like numbers do to me? And that includes being able to estimate distances and shit. I don't know what six inches means. We're just gonna... The girl on the thing is holding it like... And it's got a little tiny, tiny, tiny nozzle. I don't think it's gonna show you that. Oh my god. This is one of those... We're just gonna have a fuck it moment. Yeah, I got a little too close and I got it on my scalp. I got it on my part. You can see it. There's like smoke coming off of my head. <laughs> okay, I wiped it off right there as best as I could. Let's see. Ooh, damn it. I did it again. Look. <laughs> oh god. Oh my god. It Why is that so funny? Why is that so funny? What do you think? I don't know how to use it. Like, I'm gonna have to learn how to use it. Um, it's just supposed to, like, help it make it so that, like... It's just supposed to make it so that, like, you can't... Like, your eyes aren't immediate, immediately drawn to, like, scalp. You know what I mean? But it doesn't do what the hair fibers do, which is, like, actually make the hair thicker. I have to learn, this is my first time ever fucking touching it, and there is black hair dye on my scalp. I think for my first time using it, I did terrible. I did absolutely fucking terrible. But I just dove right into doing it. I didn't really think about it at all. I just did it. I just did the thing. And I'm proud of me for trying something new, but also, I can taste it. Like... So we're going to end the vlog, but I had this moment where I was like, Hooker, you never fucking part your hair down the middle. You never part your hair. Like the only time I ever part my hair, my hair down the middle is when I'm doing like space buns. So I filled in like the, like the whole part on my head and like put my hair how I normally put it. And I put some of the little barrettes in that Epps got me. I like it, but I think I used too much of it. But I'm learning, guys. I'm learning. I'm learning. I'm learning. And also, I need to wash my hair anyway. I completely fucking dyed my scalp with black hair dye. 
but this vlog is already entirely too long so sorry bye